All right, y'all. So I know y'all be expect. I know y'all be expecting my hyped up Honda Chronicle intro, but y'all today I'm just overwhelmed right now because when God speaks, it's a beautiful thing, right? So I'm reading my devotional, and immediately God revealed to me it was never His intention for us to expect an imitation of the events that took place in the Bible days to happen again, but it was for us to expect an a duplication of the miracles. And I was just like, Lord, it makes so much sense now. I could have took off running. Because you, God never expected us to literally go stand in the Mississippi River and expect for that river to split up and to drown out our enemies. No, God was saying, listen, when you feel like your enemy is riding you, I want you to reference back to when I let Moses, when I gave Moses and his people a way of escape, and I split that Red Sea, and when his enemies came charging behind him, I drowned them out. So know that there's nothing that the enemy can do to you. There's no enemy that could touch you. The devil can't touch you. His 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 little his little minions can't touch you. I want you to reference back to the word and remember that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. They're going to try and form, but they will not touch you. Just like the enemy formed against Moses and his people, but did they touch them? Because mm -mm, before they could even get close to them, God drowned them out. So know that God has already drowned out your enemy with the lo the lo with the loaves of bread and the fish. God not expecting us to literally go in Walmart and buy bread and sit it on a table and say, Now, Lord, multiply. I know what God is saying is, guess what? Where do you feel like you're lacking it? Where do you feel like it's just like you just feel like you're in this dark place, you're in this hole? God wants you to reference back to that that it's that moment right there and say, God, you're the same God that provided for over, for over a thousand people with five loaves of bread and two fish. So if you could do that for all the people, surely I'm one person asking you to do this for me. So I know you could do it for me. I know that this is easy for you, Lord. I didn't see God in my own life take little and turn it into much. And people coming to me like, boy, see, that was, and I'm like, they just don't know, Lord. <laughs> they just don't know. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? The man that was crippled for almost all his life. And Peter and John went and, and spoke to that man and said, by the power of Christ Jesus of Nazareth, you're going to get up and walk. You got to have that boldness. Because God is going to allow We I feel like we've all been, we've been in both, both sides. We've been in the shoes of the, the crippled man. We may not literally have been crippled to where we couldn't walk, but we've all had moments where we felt like, Lord, I feel like my back is up against the wall. I don't know what to do. And he stepped in. As always, I feel like we've been like Peter and John, where we had to be the ones to encourage people. Where we had to say, you know what, Lord, all right, now I'm about to tap into my fate. Lord, I need you to use me because guess what? This is for your glory. If you can do this for this person, I know it's going to change their life forever. We didn't been on both spectrums where we felt like our back was against the wall and we needed God to encourage us. And where God used us to do, and God used us to encourage others. You know what I mean? I had no intentions on making a Honda Chronicle this today at all. But I knew that it was urgent and I knew that it was very much, it was very much needed. So I pray that you made it through this whole video. I try not to go too, too long, but when I mean, God speak, I got to just do what he's telling me to do. I love y'all so much. And just remember, man, like, God, God can't fail. He cannot fail. And speak to that thing. Speak to it until you see it. And when you see it, you keep speaking and you keep speaking. Because a lot of times we feel like, okay, God, you gave it to me. That's it. No. When he gives it to you, guess what? You got to go even harder. Even harder in the spirit. Because the enemy don't like that. But he can't do nothing about it. I love y'all so much.